Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms. But what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos. Don't you just love it? Okay. The horse Alrighty, guys. The so we're up here, pretty much in the in the redwoods of California, um, Yosemite National Park, which is one place that I really want to go to and check out. Um, so we need to get an operational facility containing the following: paleomedical expedition and a response facility. Barnes No Expedition Center, a paleomedical facility, and a response facility. Yes. <laughs> we also received there was a bit of weird feedback from the mountain thingy when you guys when we were loading into the map from the mountains. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was a bit of like a flicker. Look at that waterfall over there. So we need to get this set up. First, what I'm going to do, and I'm noticing it again as we're moving around the map here. There is some weird feedback going on. Hopefully it dissipates. That's the wrong button. Alright, let's get some operations up and running. So we need an arrival point. Uh, can establish, yeah. Any facility requires a connected arrival point and control center to become operational. So we need to get one of these. What do you mean outside buildable area? Let's take a look here. So we don't really have too much space this time around. All right, so let's just go ahead. And I guess we just whack this at the top here. There is a little bit of feedback. I might have to just try and restart this and see if it fixes it. And the control center. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. A bit annoying as well. I also don't know why it's getting curved for. Okay. That is connected, is it not? What do you mean path not connected? Weird, okay. Alright, that's up and running, so now we need to just get some electricity. Which honestly, I'm going to stick right here. Because we're probably going to start spill the other bits on. Uh, what do we need? Facilities, enclosures, operations. So we need paleomedical expedition response. Expedition. Which we can just whack here. So it looks like it's trying to teach us to try and build the park up from like the base. Uh, response facility can go over here. Won't fit, so it can go here. And then what else did we need? Paleomedical facility. That's the other one. Boom. All right, let's get them all snapped up with the path system. Beautiful. All right, let's speed that up. I'm noticing the flickering a little bit more, and it's a bit annoying. All right, they're all done. How are you with photography? Uh, in what aspect? I think my right side is a little better. Catalog the wild species of Yosemite by using a vehicle to take photographs of each. Oh, this is actually a pretty cool one. All right. I'm going to reload because it's it's having some issues here with the stuttering. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see if uh, reloading it fixes it up. Okay, so it looks like it has fixed itself up by the looks of it. So let's go take some photos here. Uh, we've got a couple of dinos up there. Ooh, I can't get through there. There's a couple of them down that way as well, but it looks like most of them are up here. So let's head up here, this hill. I don't think I can go any faster. You're still here. That doesn't work. Okay, so we just hit that. Get it. Do it up. Play out. Go. I'm gone. All right. So we need to take eight photos, I think. It looks like we got some. Uh, I can't remember what these guys are called now. Pachycephalos. Pachycephalos. Yeah, Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, submit. Oh, we get money from these. 
So it looks like, do we only s take photos of... Oh, okay, the species. So we have to go... Oh my god, they're bigger than I remember. What is this little dude here? Is that a compi? Is it a dimorphodon? It's, it's got to be a compi. Yeah, it is. It's a compi. That's cute. Alright. We're going to head up this way. I don't see any more photo opportunities over there. So I guess we go this way. I don't know if we have to go around the mountain or... Yeah, yeah. Okay, we do. Let's take direct control. Let's head around the mountain and see what we can find. Alrighty guys, so we finished cataloging um, the dinos with photos, so we're going to need to head out pretty much and grab some more dinos from the expedition map, so we've got a couple of cool looking dudes, uh, cool guys, we've got Albert, Al blah, 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 Albertosaurus, we also have some Cryolophosauruses, I'm kind of going to go for these guys, we're going to send them out, I don't think I can send more than one. No, I can't. So we're going to send some... We're going to try and get some cryo officers. We've got to increase the asset rating by capturing dangerous carnivores with expeditions. So we're going to need to build some enclosures. But I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to need higher tier fences. So... Requires operational science center. So I'm going to try and get a science center up and running. Because I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to need higher tier buildings, uh, higher tier fences for them. So let's try and get this up here next to this guy. There we go. Cool. Alright, so that's all up and running, so we should be able to get a better fence thing going on. Alright, now the situation is we need to figure out as well how we want to go about... Not really planning it out because, like I said, this isn't going to be um, something that we'll be spending a lot of time on because these are going to get, we're not going to really use them all that much. So let's build an enclosure here. And we'll just curve that around like that. And should be able to get that coming down here like this. Beautiful. Alright, that should be enough thingy. What I should have done is put this down first. There we go. Oh, is that not in the power range? Why would you be in the power range for? God damn it. Alright, that's fine. Let's just demolish that. Uh, da, 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 da. I was going to say, what is that obstructed by? Alright, and that can just go up through there. Alright, and all we need now is a gate for that. I don't know how, um, how effective it's going to be at the keeping the cryo officers in there, but we'll find out in a second. Let's get you on that. Get out of there, out of there. Alright, let's speed things up here. I don't know if that's going to be enough space for them, so I might just demolish that. Two Cryolophosaurus is found. Did we get both of them? We did. Right. Let's get that built up before they bloody try and... Thingy yep. Alright, and we need a status check from our ranger team, which are... Where's our ranger team at? Ranger team? There they are. And task, and we want you guys to go and check on them. And we're going to need a bit of water, and I'm assuming we're also going to need some... I'm assuming we're also going to need a form of snow for these guys because I'm pretty sure these guys are from like Antarctica. Antarctica. So if we chuck some snow in, I can put that under the water. Comfort's at 70%. Cohabitation is fine. Oh, they can cohabitate. Prey, uh, forest. 
They don't really care about snow. Okay, they just need a bit of forest. Uh, we'll get this forest all the way over here. Get it just lined up across. And we'll use some of this just down the middle there. Alright. There we go. That should be enough for them. Now I just have to try and find them because I keep freaking losing them. Alright, here we go. Uh, so all they need now is probably food, I would say. So pray. It looks like we can use the goat feeder. Life prey feeder. Let's whack one there. And then we'll whack the other one just here. Don't know if they're going to be able to... Let's take a look at these guys. We actually haven't even taken a look at them. Oof. These guys look cool. Look at their little crest. They look cool. Alright. So they should be happy now. 100% comfort. I don't know how much of a rating they get. 335. Okay. Let's send out... Let's go get a big boy. Because I feel like the big boys are going to have a higher rating. So we've got some aloes. we got herosauruses, which I don't know. Ooh. What are you guys? They look cool. What else have we got? Herosaurus. We've got Dilophosauruses. We've got Metricanthosaurus. He looks terrifying. Trudons. And Albertosaurus. We'll get the Albertosaurus first. Zero, six, and one. Let's send you. Because I feel like you're going to need a big, big pen. So let's try and get another one. I want to leave this area open here so that we can get another pathway down. How's our building area out that way? Okay, it looks okay. Let's demolish that. Oh, what is this? Bulk demolish. Okay, cool. Uh, demolish that. We'll go back into enclosures. We can build the level 3 medium electrified fence, which I feel like is probably what we're going to need. For the Albertosaurus. That honestly should be enough. Oh no, don't both demolish. I feel like that's probably going to be enough for him. And I'll just demolish that. Because what I want to do is we want to have the path just weave its way through here. Because we can get back there and build some more. So I wonder if I can put the viewing gallery here. I think we'll be out of range. I mean, that's actually a really good vantage point for it. So let's get a pathway up here for it. Boom. All right. Albertosaurus should be coming here. That should be enough room for him, I would say. Um, I'm not going to spend, like I said, keep saying, not going to spend too much time on it because of the fact that we're not really going to be spending a lot of time here. All right, we just have to wait and see. And while we wait, we'll get another enclosure up and running, but I want to get some paths going through first. So let's just get this through like that. And I've got enough space up here for one, so let's get another enclosure going. And this can be like for the Trudons or something. Reason I'm doing it there is so that we can uh, connect off of the electricity source. Because we are kind of running out of money here. So I don't know if that's going to play a factor into anything or not. But we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. What's going on here? Is that connected? That's connected. Yeah, cool. All right. And then facilities. Another operational thingy-majiggy there. Boom. Oh, but you don't have power. Where is our power connected to? There it is. Okay, resupply. All our money is going into this freaking generator. Screw it. Whatever. I don't know what will happen. We're going to need another power source anyway out here. Let's speed this up. Oh, here it comes. Albertosaurus. Tell me we got him. Nice. Continue. Transport. Drop him off. We're going to give him a live prey feeder as well, I would say. Beautiful. Alright, let's send another expedition out. 
Do we want to go Trudons? Metricanthus? Let's go for the Dillos. I wish it would tell us how much they're worth. Uh, actually, you know what? We could probably tell. Four. Six. Based off on how much uh, they need to actually get them. Four. Let's get the Allos. We'll get the Allos instead. Okay. So that's all going. We can build another enclosure next to this one over here for the aloes. Because, uh, yeah, we need 3,300. So I'm assuming we're probably going to need to get all of them. So I'm going to get some enclosures built up. I'll ring you guys back in a sec. But before we do, look at this guy and his mighty fine damn eyebrows. Oofed. This guy looks awesome. I'm pretty sure I remember Albert Saurus from, uh, from the first one as well. All right, let's get this ranger team out here and take a look at him. Make sure he's happy. But yeah, we're going to just... We built another enclosure probably for the aloes. That should be enough. Thing is... Oh, I don't think we put a gate on here. There we go. Now you should be able to. Sweet. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to assume this guy's comfort's already pretty happy. Security rating is 5. I don't know if I'll need to build a bigger gate on him. But we can... Oh, we can actually field him together with Kano's. That's interesting, but he dislikes Carnival, so I don't know if that'll work or not. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, so they're going to scan him. The rating's already gone up. Uh, we need another viewing gallery here. We got... What did we go? The aloes. Yeah, so we'll put the aloes in this new one that we've just built. Transport. Boom. Why are you obstructed for? There we go. Deliver those, and then we can send out some more... Because, yeah, we're going to need more. And then the Trudons, they just need a Fora. So you can send you. And then the Trudons can go in this little pen here. That should be enough room for them. Where's our Ranger team? Look at them chilling on top of this bloody mountain. All right. Aloes are also going to need some water. So this is where things start getting, uh, not intense, but just more fun. Because we got actual stuff that we can do now. All right. And we're going to need Prey Feeders as well, I'm pretty sure, for these guys. So we'll go one... Oh, shit. I'm out of money. Crap. That could be very bad. Hopefully we make money. I don't know. It, is, it does say it's going up. Alright, let's take a look at him. His comfort's a bit low. He needs sand, rock, prey he's got. So he needs sand and rock. Yeah, run after him, mate. Good job. Okay. Uh, sand and rock. Alright, I'll bring you guys back in a bit. We need to just wait for our money to come up a bit. Alright, guys, we found what's wrong with the Albertosaurus. He swallowed a phone, which is major injury. So, we're going to need to transport him to the medical facility to get him healed up. So, we'll get that sorted and, uh, yeah, we'll bring some more dinos in and hopefully get this up to the 3,000. I can hear the phone ringing. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We managed to get our rating to the required amount, 3,300, so now we just need to make sure all captured dinosaurs have 80% comfort, which is really annoying because we have to keep going back in. Well, I mean, it's not annoying because I'm pretty sure they all have maximum comfort, but we have to keep going back in and checking them. It's really annoying having to do that with the bloody thingy. So, we've got the Metrocanthosauruses here. We have the Allosauruses next door. It is currently not... Oh! Oof, look at these dudes. These guys look sick. Okay, so these guys are uncomfortable. What do they need? Pray, and that is it. These guys look dope. Alright, let's get some going for these guys, and then we'll keep going. We just need some prey, so let's drop some live prey feeders in, and I'll chuck another one back here for them. Alright, cool. That's them all happy. Now we just have to wait the one minute and 30 seconds. Alrighty, guys. And that's it. We finished it. I'm pretty sure that's the campaign done. We can't let them run free, and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living. Oh, I was hoping this guy would move around for a bit. I wanted to take a look at Albert yes. a bit more. We should be happy. But are we happy? Sorta. So it looks like okay, we're done with the campaign, unfortunately. No. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's California complete, and I'm pretty sure that that is the campaign all done and dusted. Yosemite. Let's find out. From the language of the Miwok tribe, it means the Valley of the Killers. Fitting, isn't it? The strong prey on the weak. The hunter 
and the hunted constantly optimizing their I mean we've got all the carnivores trapped in enclosures terrain, and then we've got all the herbivores and everything out wandering around the mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival huh. evolution is a never ending arms race that continues to this day that's life it embraces change and now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't, do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No, no, the question is, will they stay? Alrighty guys, so campaign mode is done and dusted. Honestly, that wasn't that long. I'm hoping that with the new movie coming out, they'll, uh, they'll bring out new stuff, but the campaign's all done. So the reason we're doing the Chaos Theory, the challenge modes and all that stuff before we jump into Sandbox is because sandbox you you see we've only got one map unlocked so we need to do all the other modes to actually unlock these other maps which kind of sucks but it is what it is so you just kind of have to you can see there reach park rating of three stars in chaos theory jurassic world complete chaos theory um so you've got to do the chaos theories and the challenge modes and all that sort of stuff so yeah that's going to wrap up the campaign we're probably going to jump into chaos theory next so stay tuned for that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.